<laughs> so listen, I'm going to go full screen here for a second, Brian, because I've got a message that I want to close with for the people. And I will throw it to you after this to give you a chance. Okay. So everybody gather around. It's story time with Amplified to Rock, baby. So here I go. I'm going to give you all the full screen. Here I am. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I apologize. Uh, I, my, my voice isn't the strongest right now. I'm dealing with this cold, but here's how I want to close tonight. What I want to say is this, and we, we've been very positive tonight on the show on purpose. While yesterday's result was spectacular in just about every sense, I will ultimately be disappointed if yesterday doesn't end up in the bottom half of my 2023 Miami Dolphins season memories. Okay, I want Sunday to be one step towards a Super Bowl victory. I don't want Sunday to be the peak, okay? Because here's the thing, as huge as this feels, as good as this feels, at the end of the day, it's one win, one. We're three and oh. Most people watching or listening to this, they don't need me to remind them that the Dolphins were three and oh last year. Right? Now, that is the first time that they've been three and oh in back to back seasons since 1994, five and six, but it's besides the point. Just listen, if the Dolphins go into Buffalo this upcoming Sunday and they lose, they're going to find themselves at three and one and they'll be in second place in the division. So while it's fun to enjoy this win, and if you're one of those people who likes to rub it in people's faces, go for it. But remember that in the grand scheme of things, this team hasn't proven anything yet. Yes, we look amazing. Yes, it feels amazing. But they don't hand out the Vince Lombardi trophy for running up the score at home against a bad team in September. See pinned tweet. Unless Sunday's performance is one step, one building block towards the ultimate victory. And for those that are unaware of what I'm talking about, that would be the one that occurs in Las Vegas on February 11th, 2024. The one where Mike McDaniel, Tua Tonga Vailoa, Chris Greer, and Stephen Ross, yes, even Stephen Ross, unfortunately, he would be the first one, actually, will raise the Lombardi Trophy. Unless this is one step towards that ultimate victory, then this spectacular Sunday that we just witnessed will wind up sitting next to the Miami Miracle, the fake spike game, and defeating the 1985 Bears on Monday Night Football as all-time classic consolation prizes. So, let's enjoy this, savor this, remember this, but in the next 24 to 36, 48 hours, it's going to be time to shift our attention to the Buffalo Bills and the next step on our journey. And hopefully there are many more moments to come that will prove to be much, much more memorable than this.